Hi, so today we'll be solving a question on chronometer rate and uh, there are three different examples on which I will make uh, these videos. So this is example one and then uh, very soon I'll be releasing example two and example three as well. So you'll get an idea of uh, the different types of questions that are normally formulated in this topic. Alright, so this basically this question involves the concepts of chronometer rate, uh, chronometer error and includes the GMT and the chronometer time. So you have to play around with these concepts. All right, so let's start with the question here. The question says that it's uh, GMT 1800 hours on February of 7th, and then the chronometer at that point of time read, reads uh, 18 hours, seven minutes and 21 seconds. All right, and then it's uh, GMT six o'clock on February 12th, and then the chronometer reads uh, six hours, seven minutes and 18 seconds. Uh, what we have to find are three things. The first thing is the chronometer error at both comparisons, so at both 7th and 12th February, and the chronometer rate and the chronometer error at GMT 6 o'clock on February 18th. So for those of you who don't know, the chronometer actually gives you the GMT time. It's a device placed on the ship's bridge, and every day you need to check its error and the uh, difference between the actual GMT time and the time that is being shown on the chronometer. Alright, so normally the difference between the chronometer and the GMT should not be more than a few seconds, but for academic reasons, uh, we are showing a considerable difference between the GMT time and the chronometer time. Normally the error is not that big. Alright, so this is only for academic purposes, but the concept and the principles remain the same. So I'll start with the solution. So the solution is that we'll be solving part A first. So A requires you to find the chronometer error at both comparisons, that is on both 7th and the 12th of February. So on 7th of February, the GMT was reading 1800 hours, 0 minutes and 0 seconds. And the chronometer was reading 18 hours, 0 7 minutes and 21 seconds. That means the chronometer was running ahead of the GMT. Alright, so that's why the difference between these two is 7 minutes and 21 seconds and the error is called fast because the chronometer is running ahead. So chronometer if running ahead is running ahead of GMT. That means that time the error is fast. Uh, if the chronometer was running behind GMT then it would be slow. All right. Then on 12th of February, so this was uh, on 7th of February, this on 12th of February, the GMT was reading 6 hours, 0 minutes, 0 seconds. And the chronometer was reading 6 hours, 7 minutes and 18 seconds. So same as previous, the difference between these two times gives you the error of the chronometer, which is 7 minutes and 18 seconds. And again, it is fast because uh, same reason, chronometer is running ahead of GMT. Alright, so on both 7th and 12th of February, the error was fast because the chronometer was running ahead of GMT. The second thing we have to find out is from the question is the chronometer rate. Now let's find out what is the chronometer rate. So GMT on the 7th of February was, uh, and that's called GMT1 here, I'm just calling it GMT1 so that you know the difference, was 1800 hours. And GMT2, that was on 12th of February, was 6 o'clock or 600 hours, zero, 0 minutes and zero, 0 seconds. All right. So the difference in days between these two is 4 days and 12 hours. All right. If you didn't get how, then just think like this. So from 7th of February, 1800 hours to 11th of February, 1800 hours. Is how many days exactly four days right now you must be thinking why I stopped at 11th of February because on 12th of February we don't go off, we don't have to go up to 1800 hours we only have to go up to 600 hours so that's why from 11th of February 1800 hours to 6 so sorry to 12th of February 600 hours and these are all hours all right is equal to how many 12 hours now 12 hours is also equal to 0.5 of a day. You know how? So 12 divided by 24 hours is equal to 
that is half a day right that's why the difference between GMT on the 7th of 1800 hours and GMT on 12th of February 600 hours is four and a half days or you can also see it in the calendar it will work the same way just be very mindful of the difference in time so the time is what you have to be very mindful of all right now the error calculated in the first case from above was 7 minutes 21 seconds fast this was on 7th of Feb right and the error 2 was calculated 7 minutes 18 seconds fast so the above one was 7 minutes 21 seconds the second one is 7 minutes 18 seconds this is on 12th of Feb so between 7th to 12th of Feb uh, 3 seconds was lost so basically just subtract one from the other so although 3 seconds was lost and the error was still fast but 3 seconds was lost so from 0, 7 minutes 21 seconds the error became 7 minutes and 18 seconds so because the rate of fastness was lessened that's why we say 3 seconds lost alright so from 21 seconds the error became 18 seconds so it was reducing and that's why we say it's lost so we can you can say like this so rate of fastness rate of fastness was reduced all right that's why we say three seconds was lost so for example if it had gone from seven minutes 21 seconds to seven minutes 24 seconds then you would have said three seconds gained because the rate of fastness would have increased all right so to find the rate three seconds was lost in four and a half days right so three divided by four and a half equals two by third of a second and every day so in a, each day 2 by 3 of a second was lost per day so 3 seconds was lost in four and a half days plus 2 by 3 seconds of was lost per day finally the third part if you see in the question requires you to find the chronometer error at GMT 6 o'clock on February 18th so again pre like previously you start from the 12th of February 12th of Feb 600 hours because that is the time you know the error already the error was 7 minutes and 18 seconds and uh, GMT on 18th of February 600 hours sorry GMT 600 hours so the difference between these two days is exactly 6 days right so 12th to 18th February is 6 days and of course it's 600 hours to 600 hours so the difference is 0 so this is the difference between 12th to 18th of Feb. Now from 7th to 12th February we lost 2 by 3 seconds per day. So therefore from 12th to 18th of Feb assuming that we are losing at the same rate we will lose in 6 days 2 by 3 multiplied by 6 which is equal to 4 seconds lost. So in the next six days you will lose a further four seconds and that's why the error on 18th of february will be error on 12th of february which was seven minutes 18 seconds first minus the four seconds that you have lost between 12th to 18th of feb which will give you the error on 18th of feb is seven minutes 14 seconds fast so remember although you lost uh, you are losing the rate of fastness is reducing but the overall error is still fast but the rate of fastness is still reducing so maybe over a period of time this error will slowly reduce to zero all right so that's what it indicates here all right so i hope this was simply explained i will put up the other two examples very soon and you can see the difference uh, or the different types of questions which are formulated in this topic here of chronometer rate uh, if you have any questions please uh, write to me in the comments and uh, thank you to all my subscribers uh, and I, I appreciate your suggestions this was also suggested by one of my very kind subscribers uh, and thank you very much for all the feedback and the positive uh, uh, feedback that you give me uh, see you soon bye